What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because you know the deal. I am not. I am not. I repeat, I am not. Too proud to ask. Okay, so here's the deal, y'all. Um... Randy Pitchford has some choice words for uh, the homeboy Phil Spencer. He basically says, I don't believe you. <laughs> Get your hands off my pocket. Hey, look, here's the deal, man. Um, it's a lot to cover there. I'm not going to lie to y'all like I'm the biggest tech nerd. I do a lot of play testing. I don't get into the polygons, compute units, and the, and the bibble watts. I don't do all that. However, this is an interesting uh subject matter to go over with that being said before we go there i just want to show this to y'all right so we finally had a winner to our great playstation 4 pro giveaway it was the homie rulio on twitter but my homie rulio wins as he wins a playstation 4 pro he wins uh 70 dollars usd to go towards the playstation store now I want to just mention this real quick and then we're going to get to the video. Um, he, he showed his gratitude, but we, we we have more gratitude for him. And big ups to everybody else that's a, that supported us too. Mr. Righteous Fish, my homie Alex and all that other stuff. We've taken all of their... Um, we, we've taken all of their uh, um, entries that they had towards this. And we're going to add it to our next giveaway. We'll have more information on that soon. You know what I'm saying? So those are the perks of being a Patreon member. It only takes a dollar to drink. A lot of y'all missed out on this. A lot of y'all missed out on this. This is right before the holidays. I'm sending this out right after I do this video. And he's going to show y'all and enjoy it. And y'all missed out. So I just want to let y'all know that because the last giveaway that I did with Remnant, I had so many people in my DMs. MM2K, oh, when you doing another one? Oh, man, I missed out on it. You ain't got no more. I, look, I love y'all, but I don't want to hear it. <laughs> don't, don't even come in my DMs. The only thing that you want to come in my DMs for, pause, is, hey, I want to join the Patreon so I can be eligible for the next one, okay? I told John 2019, we doing a crisp and clean, that we're elevating. It started off with Remnant. I told you that the next one that we do for the PNTS network was going to be major. All right? So if you don't want to miss out, don't whine to me in my DMs. Just make yourself eligible for the next one. And in order for you to be eligible, at the very least, you have to be a Patreon member. I will leave a link to the Patreon in the comment section below. But with that said, big ups to everybody that participated. Big ups to our supporters there. All right. Now on to the video. Okay. So uh, let's see here. Let me go back one more for those that are watching the video. All right. So we got this courtesy of WCCF Tech, right? Randy Pitchford doesn't seem to be impressed with the Xbox Series X. He calls out Phil Spencer. Get your hand out my pockets. And then we got the homie post up, of course. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Phil's number one intern. He's in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chad Davis. He said, that's bait. We're going to see if it's bait. All right. So the article reads, Randy Pitchford doesn't seem to be impressed with Xbox Series X. Calls out Phil Spencer. Right. And the article says this. Gearbox founder Randy Pitchford has taken a Twitter to call out the Xbox head, Phil Spencer, following a tweet about the upcoming Xbox Series X, or simply Xbox. Microsoft executive, president of gaming, to, uh, took to Twitter to respond to an article from Eurogamer's Digital Foundry um, on the Series X, and in the article, Eurogamer right. mentions the power increase for the Series X over the original Xbox One and Xbox One X, which is likely achieved through increased processor frequency instead of transistor density. According to Moore's Law, transistor density on a microchip should be, a, should be double about every two years, but this pace appears to be slowing down. And I guess this is a note that transistor density is unlikely to have doubled, meaning the primary route forward for increasing performance is frequency and lots of it, Digital Foundry wrote. Increasing clock speeds get more 
performance, therefore more value in the silicon, but harder your push, blah, 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 blah. All right, whatever. Phil Spencer then tweeted that while Moore's Law is seemingly slowing down, performance ambitions increase, and as such, design innovations are required. As Moore's Law slows and our performance ambitions increase, it leads to design innovation, the Xbox had tweeted, software innovations like VRS will also be critical. You know what I'm saying? Gearbox founder, however, Randy talked to Twitter, he don't agree with that. Felt, felt some type of way about that. And he's not impressed with the Xbox Series X so far, and he called out Phil Spencer for his tweet. Is Moore's Law slowing down? How many transistors in the Series X? What if Moore's Law is like the four minute mile? Your ambitious message for the Xbox One X was inspiring, but for Series X, well, this feels more or less like an excuse. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So <laughs> hey, yo. This is all funny because I said in a video before, and I, and, and I like to take points that I make and, and little talking points, and I like to repeat them so they stick to home, so they're, so, so they're embedded in your mind. I feel like with this whole situation, I'm dealing with 50 first dates. The movie with Drew Barrymore where she has amnesia and every time she wake up, she forgets what the hell happened and she does the exact same stuff all over again. Or Groundhog's Day for those that are my, I'm telling my age, those that are my age. Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray with every day that he woke up at a certain point, it was the same exact day over and over again, right? I feel like I'm going over this over and over again. Two big things to take away from this. First and foremost, in, in, in reference to my video that I just posted before this one, okay? Microsoft, Xbox, stop with having to have another man bite into your sandwich and tell the crowd that it's good, okay? Stop relying on that. Who cares what Digital Foundry thinks? And again, you're setting yourself up for disaster. You just did this with Hellblade uh, reveal trailer. Where after you did that reveal and you got the whole community hyped up, that was all fizzled down by Digital Foundry coming out and saying, oh, well, we see a lot here, but it don't mean nothing. Now you refer back to them and the head of Xbox says, you know what? Digital Foundry does so much work and they're, and, 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 and to, to translate it, they're wood buffing us so much. So I'm going to put them on a pedestal once again. And say, oh yeah, you guys describe this great and all this other bull crap. Only for Randy Pitchford on the heels of him now being in a spotlight with Borderlands 3. And him having some credibility once again to smack you down. And bring in a perfect reference to my point too. All this hype and all this enthusiasm as far as Microsoft is concerned. Sounds like a repeat, sounds like 50 first dates, sounds like Groundhog's Day of the Xbox One X all over again. We talk power, power, power. You show off Hell's Blade, which Digital Foundry slaps that down. You then give credence to Digital Foundry by slapping down Hell's Blade by saying they do good work. And now Randy Pitchford comes in and says, this just sounds like a, a regurgitation of the Xbox One X. Will you talk about power, 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 but you launched with super lucky sales for crying out loud. And like I joked behind the scenes and I'm going to bring it to the forefront. There's no indication that we ain't going to see that over again. They have the new Xbox release and a launch title is going to be super lucky sales series X. <laughs> like what is this madness going to stop? At the end of the day, again, I don't know about the compute units and the bibblewats and the gigahertz. I could care less about it. And that doesn't matter. What matters at the end of the day is what is the experience like to the end user? Did the end user really feel like they have a benefit? At the beginning of this generation, they felt like it was no because of Sony's advertising. When the Xbox One X came out, they felt like it was no. And that no was more solidified when God of War came out on the $200 box and I'll shine everything at the time on the $500 box. And we're going to see a repeat of the same. If Microsoft during the early, the, the early parts of 2020 don't show us some hellified good looking games that are launching with this system. Okay. The multi-plats didn't do it for you. That's what you were hoping was going to happen with, uh, the X. It didn't work. You got to show that you're creating some content that'll make these games shine on that box, okay? 
Until you do that, forget raising digital foundry fields. Stop doing that. One minute they're with you, the next minute they're not with you. And when you do stuff like this on the heels of them dogging out the reveal of Hellblade, you're, you're, you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. How can't you see this? So, I don't know. That's People get mad at me for saying I don't have faith in Xbox until I see something. People get mad at me when I say that going into next generation, my platforms are going to be PC, Stadia, and the PlayStation 5. People get mad at me when I criticize Phil. But stuff like this happens, and they leave themselves so exposed. They can, they, they, they can fix all this by, again, being the curators of their own messaging. Again, I'm going to repeat my video at nauseum that I did before this one. With all of the praise that Digital Foundry did, including Grandscape of PlayStation, and even in a lot of cases when they didn't deserve it, not once, not once to my recollection, did Sony call in Digital Foundry and say, come to our studios and validate our product and services? No, they did it on their own. Microsoft, I don't know what you need to do. Go to Saatchi again, write another check, get a better PR firm, because the people that you got right now, it ain't it, Chief. Y'all are horrible with messaging and with long-term messaging. Your messaging doesn't stand the test of time, period. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, you can catch me on the corner of every boulevard, baby. Check out the links below to follow me. And hey, yo, those links lead you to your boy's content via Triple B, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and the Stadia Dosage platform. Fastly growing. With that said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.